Hi, I'm Rebecca Antonucci and this is Tim Burks. And today we're going to talk about parking legally. Right. Let's talk shop. All right, Tim, so as a driver, I'm driving a lot, but eventually I've got to pull over and park somewhere. So how important is it to pick a great parking spot? Well, it's, it's super important to make sure the area that you're parking is an authorized place to park. And, you know, in, in today's environment, you got to be very cautious about where you park. So that means usually there'll be signs. Uh, if there's no signs posted saying no parking, then you, you can obviously park there. But you've got to look. You've got to look around the perimeter of the facility, wherever you're parking, on the buildings, on light poles. That's usually where they put no parking signs, right? Uh, obviously, your truck stops, any of the Smith terminals, those are all good areas uh, to park in. Rest areas are good areas to park in. It's when you start parking in grocery store parking lots or on roads outside of a warehouse where you may be making your delivery or in fields that somebody may own, that's when it gets pretty risky about where and, and what decisions you're making on parking. So you've got to make sure if you're going to park somewhere that you do your due diligence and you make sure that there's no sign saying no parking. Is there a difference if I'm parking for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or for my entire sleeper berth? There, there is. Um, there's, there's a lot of places that will let you park there short term. Say, for example, you're delivering to a Walmart. If you're making your delivery there, obviously they're gonna let you park there, but they may not let you park there overnight. And they could come and that vehicle could get towed, especially if it's in what they call a right to tow state, like Texas or Florida. That means no one has to call them. Any tow truck coming by sees that piece of equipment parked there and they know all of the areas, they just grab it and they go. And when they do that, that's when things become very scary and it's gonna cost you a ton of time as a driver because there's gonna be a whole bunch of hoops that you're gonna to have to go through to get your truck and your trailer back. So if I do illegally park somewhere, what happens? Well, in those situations where that occurs, and it occurs every day, what ends up happening is that vehicle gets towed, usually the truck and the trailer, sometimes just the truck, sometimes just the trailer, but ultimately it gets impounded. And when it gets impounded, it's usually by a tower that has a contract with the city or county or that particular customer and they want to make it as difficult as possible for you to get that equipment back. And so one of the things that they do is say, we only accept cash payment, right? So now your average impound at a minimum is going to be two to three thousand dollars just to get it out of impound. And now as a company, we got to figure out how do we get the driver that much cash? Because I right? don't carry that much cash with me. <laughs> and, and that's a problem, right? So what ends up happening is, is we have to either advance you the money, you have to get a comp check, go to a bank, cash that bank, and then get back there. Oh, and by the way, proof of ownership, title, registration, proof of insurance, all these different things that you're going to have to bring in. And if you're missing one piece of that, well, come back tomorrow. And oh, by the way, it's another $500 on top of that. So that whole process starts over again. So the best thing that you can do is make sure you don't park somewhere you're not supposed to park. And that will eliminate that risk from happening altogether. The other thing that you can do is if you happen to see one of our trailers parked somewhere and you know that it's a no parking area, report that to our ACT on road group immediately so that we can get with the trader utilization team and we can get that trader moved before it gets impounded. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate everything you guys do. Be safe and remember, pay attention to where you park because it could be costly.